All good, Woodrow. How y'all feeling good? You want to go ahead and introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Ana Maria Gomez, and I'm a senior. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brianna Hendricks, and I'm a senior. Hi, my name is Allie Dalton. I plan on attending West Texas A&M University for equestrian assisted therapy in the fall. Hi, my name is Daniel Cavazos, guys. I'm a senior, and I plan on attending uh, the University of North Texas in Denton and majoring in music theory. Hey, my name is JJ Contreras, and um, I'm actually a senior, too. <laughs> and believe it or not, I have a beard. I don't know if y'all saw that. <laughs> well, anyways, um, I'm attending Dallas Christian College to play baseball, and I'm going to um, major in business management. Hi, my name's Celia. I'm also a senior. I plan on attending Texas State University next year, where I will pursue my BFA in performance and choreography as a dancer. Out of over 100 applicants and only five scholarships available, I have received one. Hey, 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 my name is Drew. Uh, I'm also a senior at Woodrow Wilson High School, and I actually don't know where I'm going quite yet, but I do know that I want to major in political economy, eh, excuse me, political economy and international relations and hope to one day be your senator. Awesome. Judges, are we ready? Yeah, everybody ready to go? So Woodrow, let's hear your presentation. So we have a video first. So yeah, we have, a, we have about a two minute video and this video is just about the lessons we've learned in the past eight, um, eight weeks, so yeah. So this is the Dallas County Promise team at Woodrow Wilson. Also, we need to have specific rules set for everyone. That way, we can reach our end goal faster. I'm Daniel. I'm a senior from Woodrow Wilson High School. And one of the lessons learned is that it's important to have a group text and a group email so that everyone can be on the same page. Just, just be together as one as we go through, as we go through this whole process. How do I stop recording? You push this button. So now we're just going to briefly go over what we learned again, just so um, it's just more clear. So first, um, we decided that we need to pick teammates, or basically what we're doing by September 10th, and that's going to be Mr. Yours's job for next year. And number two is having regularly scheduled meetings. And it's also important uh, to have these meetings. That way, whenever we all meet together, we know like, like what we're going to do and by what time. Yeah, going off of that, um, and that's where the agenda comes in play. So once we make the agenda, that's how we know um, how to plan our meetings and how we plan our events. Number four is uh, having dependable teammates. Uh, 
everyone here is very dependable and we know that we can count on each other to, to get whatever task that we assign them done. Yeah, and um, we need everyone to have a specific role just so everything gets done quicker. And the last one is having a common form of communication, which is a group text that we are all in, and that basically just allows us to know like what we're doing and, and what day and stuff. Okay, so as being four year, um, I guess, well, not really members, but students of Woodrow Wilson High School, I'm sure it's pretty safe to say that we know the struggles of every student and what really every student is struggling with in college and career prep preparation. So um, what we did originally during the eight weeks of this time is we planned a field day where we got speakers from, let's see, different Dallas community colleges to come in, uh, United Way, Metropolitan Dallas even, and ScholarShot to help give students different opportunities uh, with, let's see, scholarships and internships and even uh, different mentors for students to build a more successful future for themselves. We plan to have uh, different students coming in from these Dallas uh, community colleges with career-oriented hands-on activities for the students. We plan to have uh, different games and fun activities for them, as well as a raffle and just food, tr food trucks and vendors coming in. But after discussing with our administration, we actually decided that a senior signing day would be the best thing to do on May 21st. And my fellow teammate, Drew, will tell you more about that. So, so as seniors, we all know that applying to college is not easy. Getting to actually have time to do all of these things is also very difficult, especially as first-gen students. Anyone in here that might know that, um, it's very difficult. So what this big signing day is, it basically just celebrates everyone that has a plan, which is what attacks our, um, our challenge, Challenge 5, which was to create a better college campus going environment or a just postgraduate plan. So it celebrates those who have that plan. Really quickly, I would like to go over the objectives that we have. So I'm going to let my teammate here, Bree, start with the first two. So the first objective we want to have is more applications because in the past year it's been very low and most kids believe they can't really afford college as well as attendance because once they get into college, most of them don't even go. <laughs> and then for the second one, we want to increase awareness because whenever you pay for college, you think you're going to be in student loan debt afterwards. But we want to show kids there is a way through the Dallas County Promise that you can pay for school and it is affordable. Okay, and lastly is our agenda. So throughout the hardships that we were facing and everything, um, we made an agenda for the team for the next school year. And so basically, we just want to have everything planned, and we need to make everything happen and get it done as soon as we can. And unfortunately, we weren't able to do what we wanted to, but next year for sure, this is going to be a set thing. Um, like our field day, this has to happen in the fall semester and just like this year we're gonna do this signing day as well and so basically we just wanted to add more and get people more involved Well, uh, in Lakewood and East Dallas, you have a very diverse set of parents. For those of you that have parents that are not have not gone to college, uh, not informed, compared to those parents, say in Lakewood, that are very informed about college, how do you how do you manage that bridge of knowledge? How do you get those parents that are not even first generation college attending to, to buy in and understand all the things that you're talking about? So I am a first generation college student and I actually went to Lakewood Elementary where none of the students were first generation college students. So as someone who has been through that process practically by myself, something that we're planning to do to help other students that are like me that doesn't, don't, don't have that type of support at home is that we do send out newsletters to the parents in both Spanish, English, and any other language that is uh, required of them. 
as someone who's bilingual, I've had parents come up to me and ask me for information and I'm able to tell them in Spanish, French, English, whatever language that they need, um, that we have all sorts of resources for people who are first generation, people who are fifth, sixth generation. Uh, we have a big equal opportunity campus as well. So we have resources that help everyone that's there. So now that you've been through this the first year, what's your big takeaway? So our big takeaway is that we've understood that there's a lack of communication at our school that really needs to be fixed. And ways to do that is really just by getting our community involved, which uh, thanks to our agenda that we made, we want to have United Way and Scholarshot coming in. So now thanks to this year, we've linked Woodrow Wilson and their students to United Way at Metropolitan Dallas and to Scholarshot to get different scholarship opportunities, internship opportunities. I mean, we all made aware and kind of posted different things about an internship that United Way was hosting as well as a future focus program that United Way does every year in the summer. So it's great you have an agenda for next year. How are you going to recruit younger students to carry on your agenda? Next year, actually, um, our sponsor, Mr. Yours, we decided that this is something that is so important and it needs more than just a couple meetings every week. It needs uh, focused in a clear, concise time, which can be done during class time. So Mr. Yours, after uh, several or after a month in, uh, in school, uh, by September 10th, that he will decide different students that are um, that have good grades and that are involved in the campus and that care about not only themselves but their students around them. You're forcing me to do it again next year. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have a known presence on campus. I've had younger students come up to me and ask me how they get to be in the position that we are. They're wanting to help, and they see that what we do is helping little by little. You know, one big culture that's so um, institutionalized in a school is very hard to fix in eight weeks. And what we've done, what we can, we see that the younger students are slowly seeing that what we do works and what we're doing is working to help students get involved and go to college and have a plan. And they see that and they want to help and they ask us, what can they do? do? Do you guys have a college counselor or system or program on campus as is or do you use Educationist Freedom or ASP or SMU or any of these groups? Yes, we use ASP. Our lovely, um, our lovely coordinator is Miss Le Lesia Bazwix. <laughs> Miss Baz, she's pretty cool. How, how would your program fit in or work with her or, with, or the work that they do? She gives us all the information that we need to know. So students that have filled out FAFSA TAFSA, students that have filled out the Dallas County Pledge, and she lets us know where we need to target and who we need to touch base with. Let's hear it for Woodrow. Thank you so much.